And now to day three of our special series, Where Are They Now? As we check in on some of the most compelling stories we've ever covered here on the show. This morning, seven siblings who made history the moment they arrived. The year was 1997. President William Jefferson Clinton was sworn into office for a second term. We said goodbye to the People's Princess, and Titanic hit the big screen, breaking box office records. Flying. And on November 19th in Des Moines, Iowa, Bobby and Kenny McCoy made headlines of their own, welcoming seven bundles of joy into the world. Four boys, three girls, all healthy. The Miracle Babies would become the world's first surviving set of septuplets, making their television debut on our air at just four days old. These little fighters have had us wrapped around their little fingers ever since, growing up in front of our eyes and our cameras. And with just two months to go until the septuplets' 18th birthdays, the McCoy home is just as hectic as those early days. But now those tiny babies are practically all grown up, heading into their senior year of high school. It's scary to think about all of them being out, choosing their career path, making those choices. When you have infants and somebody tells you, you know, don't blink, it's gonna be over, you think that they are out of their minds. <laughs> but it really is true. Ah, and here they are, Natalie, Kelsey, Kenny Jr. We've got Brandon, Alexis, Joel, and Nathan, and their parents, of course, Kenny and Bobby. Good morning to all of you. It's good to see you. Good morning. I don't know about you, Bobby and Kenny, but these 18 years have really flown by for us. <laughs> you feel by. a little differently? <laughs> no, they have flown by. Yeah. What's the biggest memory when you look back at that video we just showed and you all just saw it, Bob, like, Kenny, what's the biggest memory from that time, this little baby time? I was in the ER. I, I did, for me, it was seeing each one of the kids come out of the womb, and it was really, it was really quite a sight to see that. So, has it been fun to to reminisce, Bobby? Is it is, is your heart twinging a little bit as you see those images? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Can you explain? It's because there's been so many things that have happened, and um, the memories, the joys, the the heartaches that have happened, and, but it's all. You know, it's, it's what has gotten us to where we are today, and it's very special. It's just a little bit of wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> These seven beautiful faces against all odds. I want to catch up with the kids. Now, we followed you over the years, right? Our cameras were around in the early years, and some of these descriptions were given by you guys about the kids, and I want to see if they hold up. Who would you guys say is the class clown? Kenny. Kenny. Yes, Kenny. That is you. you think yes. It's true? Yes. Okay, okay. Who's the bookworm, the reader? Joel. Joel. Ooh, I had it as Natalie. Smarty pants. Okay. Matt, what do you think? Well, Joel's the one who likes to read a lot, but I'm the one who takes school very seriously and spends a lot of time like doing homework and studying so I can try to keep my grades up. Okay, that's good. Someone said one of your siblings was stubborn and fearless. Brandon. 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 <laughs> you plead guilty? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the best thing, guys, about being a septuplet? The best thing? Um, I'd say just having a big family, a lot of brothers and sisters to hang out with. There's, you're never alone. There's always someone to talk to and hang out with. You That's agree? what I think is the best. You agree, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what's coming. What's the worst thing about being a septuplet? <laughs> Kelsey, you look like you have something to say. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just I don't I don't think there's a worst part. Um, I've enjoyed all of it. So there's not been a worse part. You know, we just sit here and marvel at how wonderfully you've all turned out. And Bobby and Kenny, that's such a testament to you. We think of we couldn't handle seven babies in diapers, seven babies getting potty trained, seven driver's licenses. Don't tell me you got seven tuition bills coming. <laughs> how have you been able to manage? Bobby, I'll start with you. Um, well, I think early on we had so much help from family and friends and um, if there was anything that we needed, there was always someone there who was willing to help us. And, um, you know, we have, we have a super strong support system. We have a super strong faith that has been um, the rock that we have had to stand on. Great foundation is absolutely key. Bobby, I mean, it, it was so public. I mean, you guys were on the cover of magazines, and for a while our cameras followed you, and you did a little bit of press, but it seems there came a time when you guys said, okay, that's enough. 
we're going on with our lives. You didn't go the reality TV route. Mm. Was that on purpose? Yes, because I really want us to be, you know, as normal of a family as we could be. Um, that's the best way to raise a family is just with the normal everyday, you know, things. So. Yeah. Is it fun, guys, to be in the spotlight now? You're almost 18, or are you ready to just go back to normal life? It's fun. <laughs> of course you would say that, Kenny. You're the class clown. <laughs> well, good luck to all of you. It's so good to see you, and I think so many people in this country feel like they, they really know you because they watched that a miracle when you were born, and we're glad to catch up with you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.